everyone, welcome back to my channel. I recently got a few emails asking questions about makeup brushes, which makeup brushes they should buy, they're going to buy some from Sigma, what do I recommend? I wrote out a big list of all the brushes that I thought were a necessity to do sort of any makeup look, sort of the basic list that you would need and I've got 15 brushes that I think everyone needs in their makeup set and you can get all of these from Sigma. Now Sigma does sell basic you know brush sets but I think that there are a lot of brushes there that you really don't need so I'm gonna go through my necessities everyone really should have a powder brush personally me I rarely use powders you might have picked that up from my videos but um, I love this brush because when I do use powder maybe to set under my eye this has got a tapered tip so it's great for getting under my eye or into the corners of my face like around my nose chin area it won't miss a spot it's got a very large um, head um, again that's the F25 tapered face brush and it's beautiful and soft really nice next brush I want to show you is the duo fiber powder blush brush the F15 this has two kinds of bristles in it. it's got those white ones that are spraying through these natural black bristles at the bottom um, these are sort of less densely placed than the black ones if that makes sense when you apply foundation with this you're going to find that it is a beautiful flawless airbrush finish maybe not a full coverage but it will give you that airbrush look um, it's one of my favorite things to do in summertime also for applying blush obviously as the name might suggest I can apply cream blush highlighter cream highlighter or I can apply um, powders with this like powder blush or powder highlighter bronzer etc it is a very good brush and you definitely need a duo fiber blush brush in your collection next I want to talk about the kabuki brushes I've got the F82 the F80 the F84 and the F86 now these are all for applying foundation pretty much specifically it's all I use it for maybe sometimes I'll use one of them to apply a cream blush but rarely um, I've got four of them you only need one personally my favorites are the angle top one and the tapered one I do love tapered brushes because they're much easier to use around your face again in the corners of your face um, this one's good it's very quick but this one's got a larger face and so blends a little bit easier and it's also got sort of the tapered angle to it so you can still reach the corners of your face so if you're going to get one I personally would recommend the F84 the angled top one and I love those brushes because it gives you a very full coverage foundation because they're really dense brushes but these are really good you can buy the sets um, I like having more than one because then I don't have to wash my brushes um, as often but again for your starter kit you're gonna need one of these this is one of the first brushes that I ever got it's the F40 large angled contour brush this is a very um, versatile brush it is sort of meant for applying contour to the cheeks according to the name but I mean I use this for general blush um, bronzer it's great for bronzer because it is quite it does have a large sort of face to the bristles so you can get a large surface area with it it's great for blending out powder products um, yeah very good brush definitely what you need in your kit everyone needs a concealer brush in their collection this is the okay I've used this so often it's rubbed off what is it F70 concealer brush and it's sort of like a mini foundation brush it's good for just dipping into the pot and then applying on your problem areas you can swipe it under the eye and then blend with your finger or another brush um, yeah very standard brush and I use this pretty much every day now if your brows need shading in then you're going to need an eyebrow brush I prefer to use powders on my brows rather than the pencil I just find that I've got more control and this is the angled brow E75 I don't know how I lived without this brush before it's um, very precise bristles, very thin in an angle. Um, it's the perfect size so you can build it in the body of your brow and then create a beautiful tapering line on the outer part of your brow. This is really good brush. Again, it's the E75 and you do need this in your collection if you have eyebrows that need to be shaded in. And now onto the lip brush. This is a very standard brush. The Sigma one has a removable lid so that... Um, it sort of doesn't damage the brush although I find that when you're putting the lid on it's going to damage some of the bristles on the side I don't know if you can see that when you're putting it on it's gonna bend them up down um, I wish that it was just regular but I mean you can pop the end 
the lid on the end and you've got a regular shape but this is a really good brush um, for applying lip products colored lip products I really don't even need to use lip liner when I'm using lip lipsticks because I just use this um, I do like however that it is portable although it does sort of damage the outside bristles it's very good to put this in your purse or your clutch when you're going out and you need to reapply your lipstick because it's very portable this is the LO5 lip brush from Sigma this is the eye shading E55 brush it's a very standard eyeshadow brush medium sized bristles nice shape it's quite thick so this is just a standard brush for applying eyeshadow to the lid. I use this every day. It's one of my newest brushes. I did have, I've got a lot of eye shading brushes, but um, I did want this one in my collection because you can never have too many. For the everyday person, you definitely need an eye shading brush. As I said, this is a standard size. It's great for applying color to the lid, under the brow. This is a very, very good brush. Now, I think that everyone needs at least two eye shading brushes. This one here is the E20 short shader brush. As you can see it's got shorter bristles and they're quite dense so it's good for packing on color. I like this to add color to the inner corner of my eye or to add color uh, to the base of my lashes and work it up. It's um, very very easy to work with. Um, it's just a good good eyeshadow brush to have. You should have this one and another one I believe. Now I really like using a larger stiff bristled shading brush. Now this one isn't by Sigma but it is a copy or a dupe for the Sigma E60 large shading brush so from what I've seen and read um, it's got these stiffer bristles and I really love this kind of brush for applying color strongly to the lid so it really packs on the color um, it's not very good for blending because the bristles are quite stiff but I really love this brush it's not necessary but I love this brush and I really wanted to include it the E15 flat definer brush and as you can see it's got a flat top and it's got very thin bristles. So I use this brush to apply eyeshadow to the lash line. This brush is good for applying um, eyeshadow precisely. So you could use it on the lash line as I said or you can use it to create lines. So I could maybe apply it to my outer V and then use another brush to blend it out. I could use this to create a cut crease look. You could use it in your eyebrows. It's a very versatile brush and you do need to be able to apply um, product precisely sometimes so this brush is very good for that now this brush I think everyone should own this it is the E30 pencil brush from Sigma it's got these tapered bristles so this is a fantastic brush for blending product for applying product to the crease it's good it's tapered I mean if you use a light hand you're going to get a very fine line if you use a heavier hand it's good for smudging and blending things out and use it with shadows or use it straight onto a cream product um, really fantastic brush definitely use this in pretty much every tutorial I would say now I'm going to go for the E45 blending brush. You definitely need at least two blending brushes in your collection. It's a tapered shape so it sort of goes out then in. You can use it to precisely blend colour or you can press harder and get more of a blend, maybe a more hazy effect. Um, yeah, you definitely need to learn how to blend. It's one of the most important techniques in eyeshadows and makeup application. If you can't blend properly your makeup is going to look very unprofessional. Um, it's just something that you need to learn to perfect and if you have two brushes I mean you might have one dirty with a certain color that means you can use your fresh brush without muddling up the colors. So this is a really good brush. It was one of my first ones. Really recommend this brush. Another blending brush is the Tapered Blending E35. This one is not as tapered it's more of a round headed brush. It's very fluffy and I like to use this brush to further blend out color so once I've used my other brushes to apply the color and I've blended slightly this one's just going to blend it out even further. It covers more surface area. I also like using the blending brushes to apply cream products maybe under the eye. Applying shadow in larger areas like under my brow bone. You could even use this as a contour if you were trying to be really precise with it. As I said, you need a few of these. Everyone needs an angled brush to apply liquid eyeliner or cream eyeliner. This is the E65, or sorry, a dupe for that. This is one I actually got at Makeup Academy, but it is the same. I actually prefer to use this art brush that I've got. It's by Jazz Art, and if you go to an, uh, um, an art store and look for this, you should be able to find it, but if you can't, 
This is really just as good. I think that the Sigma one's probably a bit better than this one. It's a little bit old now, so um, I do want to buy the Sigma one. But um, yeah, you do need a liner brush, and Sigma has a good one. Well, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you an insight um, into what brushes are used for and which brushes you will need. Um, maybe just even watching my videos, you've probably picked a lot of this up, but I hope that it's helped in some way. And if you've got any questions, just put them in the bottom bar below. And please check the description box because I will have my affiliate link to all of the Sigma brushes that I mentioned. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.